Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? It is another look at some Marvel Crisis Protocol models here and uh, from Aegis Brand Studios. And this week, we are going to take a look at Agent Black Widow and Hawkeye. Uh, now, for any of you who are familiar with Marvel Crisis Protocol, right off the bat, you can probably spot what's interesting about this one and that this is our first alternate uh, version of a model here. Uh, Black Widow uh, is the, this is the first one we're getting, whereas she basically has two uh, options um, because she did get her corset model and now she is getting a, uh, an alternate sculpt. And, uh, you know, th this was, this was clearly meant as, as something to sort of like take along to the uh, release of the Black Widow film that obviously had to get pushed back due to the, uh, the global pandemic issue. Um, but I mean, before we even take a look at the, the models themselves in there, uh, I gotta say, I've always really liked Hawkeye. Uh, he's been one of those characters that, you know, I've never been a huge Avengers fan, but for some reason I've liked Hawkeye. And I think it goes back to the idea that he's just a regular dude. I mean, he's, he's really good with a bow, but he doesn't have the super soldier serum. He doesn't have the, the mechanical prowess of Iron Man. He doesn't have the insane strength of, uh, the Hulk. Uh, or um, or the capabilities of vision or anything like that. So I, I've liked Hawkeye. He, he's always he's always struck me as the the straight man of the group uh, in the sense of like why is he there <laughs> when everyone else can do what they do? I mean even in comparison to Black Widow, uh, who I think in the comics she has a little bit more going for her than just being a super spy. Um, so you know happy to see Hawkeye. Uh, it is interesting to see that they're doing a more modernized version of Hawkeye. Uh, I have to admit I've always kind of liked the the goofy uh, purple outfit with the mask. Um, but I mean, that doesn't track so much these days. Um, as far as Black Widow, you know, the pose is kind of cool. I like the, uh, I like the jumping back, shooting forward with her wrist bracelets there. Um, not sure how much I feel for the, the actual design of the, the outfit itself. Uh, I'm thinking I might, uh, I might do it up in the, the white, uh, design from, uh, from the upcoming movie. Uh, alternatively, I've, I've even thought about maybe... Uh, painting her up to be the the other Black Widow was it uh, Yelena or something like that, um, just as something a little different. I'm you know definitely not alone in that. Uh, I've seen a couple really nice uh, alternate uh, paint jobs for Black Widow on that. So once again, just as the typical disclaimer, this is not going to be a full review of the uh, of what they can do in the game. I'm mostly just taking a look at the models and you know some of the stuff that they come with. Um, and that's because there, there are other people who have much better takes on this stuff than I do. So right off the bat, tokens. Yay, everyone loves tokens. Those things are great. Uh, so we got a pair of uh, tactics cards here. Uh, so one of them specifically mentioning both uh, Black Widow and, uh, and Hawkeye here. Uh, and that's kind of cool. So it looks like they can pass off some, uh, some objective tokens for, uh, yeah, sort of like assets or civilians. That, that's kind of nice being able to pass them along. And uh, right here we got uh, another one that, okay, so th this one is kind of a similar card to what's uh, uh, in the core box. I think it was like one, two punch or something like that, where basically it allows you to kind of add on some uh, some um, extra dice to an attack for a little bit of power. So this is kind of nice. It, it really showcases the the fact that they're, they're sort of like designed to work together as a team. Um, and something I feel like I've never really drawn attention to. Gotta love the artwork that are going on these cards. I, I really dig that, just in general. So we got Hawkeye here, and I mean, pretty standard for... Well, actually, no, that, that looks a little different than what I've seen from a lot of uh, a lot of these models. I mean, his physical defense is fairly solid, but his energy and mental, eh, not so great. Uh, three threat for four health and medium movement. Eh, eh it is what it is. Um... I do like this ability right here on the wilds for the full quiver. Uh, you can basically give uh, give some of the special conditions there. And from what I've been seeing in this game, special conditions can really go a long way. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's also kind of neat that he can choose between physical and uh, energy attacks. Uh, yeah, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, the hook arrow is kind of neat. Again, any sort of like movement manipulation abilities, always really nice to see in a game, uh, especially skirmish size uh, that have the objectives and everything. Uh, being able to avoid line of sight, I, I have, or, yeah, I have to say, like, line of sight doesn't seem as important in this game to me as a lot of other ones. Uh, that could just be because we're not using enough terrain yet, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. And, uh, yeah, this one's kind of neat as well, the fast draw for two power, basically being able to get a quick attack in if uh, if he's targeted within range of three. So that's, uh, that's really kind of neat. I, I dig it. For Agent Black Widow, uh, so, again. You know, 
So she's got five health, better defenses than uh, than Clint. Um, same threat though. Uh, yeah, so let, let's see what she's got here. So she's got the uh, the rapid fire. So an additional attack. All right, you know, keeps firing at the same thing. That, that's kind of cool. Uh, she's got herself an area attack, which is really nice with the tear gas, uh, which gains the poison special condition. Uh, so again, special conditions, always really nice to see them hit the table there, uh, mostly because you have to take an action to shake them with, or you have to use some sort of other ability. And uh, yeah, Widow's Kiss. So, uh, oh, that's kind of nice. Add an extra die for each uh, special condition the target has. So the, there's some definite synergy between Hawkeye and Black Widow here. You can definitely see some synergy once you add in like um, uh, Star-Lord's abilities as well to put on some conditions. And the ability to push anything away is really nice. Throw them off some objectives. So that's not too bad. And uh, this is kind of cool. You can get some extra VPs for, um, for the interrogate special ability here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, and, uh, yeah, imparting shot right here is, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, basically you attack her, she's going to attack back. And then she has the same ability as her core set one, which is the stealth where she can, uh, sort of avoid some, some attacks. So, yeah. So, uh, that is kind of cool. All right. Let's take a quick peek at the actual models themselves. So we got our typical bases and yeah, so we got Hawkeye right here and Oh, that is wonderful. He is going to be so easy to build. Um, those are going to be a little annoying because of my giant fingers. But aside from that, really like that. I kind of love the Hydra symbol uh, just on the wrecked base there. But yeah, he is going to be super easy to build here. And then we have Black Widow who has a couple extra bits and bulbs. And oh, did they seriously put knee pads on there? Yeah, there's knee pads, there's shoulder pads. It looks like a holster there. Oh, I hate those sort of things. Those are always really kind of annoying. I've uh, got the Hydra symbol there as well. Um, I mean, not bad. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks like the majority of Black Widow is going to be pretty easy to assemble. So let's get that done and take a look at the models. So we have the two Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Hawkeye and Natasha Romanoff, uh, Black Widow, uh, assembled. I'm going to start with Black Widow because, frankly, she was a pain in the ass. Um, so right off the bat, look at that contact point. That right there on uh, the boot glues on to that little uh, tactical rock right there. Now, on one hand, I'm glad that there's the boot contact point because it means that if it does break off, it's hopefully just the glue and not going to be damaged model itself. But still, those sort of glue and contact points, those are always a pain. The other really annoying thing about uh, Black Widow, the pistol holster on uh, on both legs there, those were their own, uh, their own things. You can see the shoulder pad was its own piece. The top of her little uh, wrist blasters, each of those were their own piece. They're small pieces, so easy to lose, so easy to flick away. Um, I'm glad that they, you know, they went on nice and easily, but still, it, it was kind of, kind of a pain. Um, I like the head on this one was actually kind of nice because the hair was all one piece, uh, as opposed to a lot of the other uh, MCP models. So it actually just fitted on almost like a wig. So it was really kind of nice. But over, overall, I like. I like the pose. I like sort of like the the defensive spring back that she's uh, that she's doing in this. Sorry about the focusing. Uh, I really like that. I like the fact that she's firing as she's jumping backwards. Um, it really kind of speaks to the fact that you know she she is this secret agent, this uh, this spy, this assassin type thing. Uh, I really dig it. I, I think it's a great pose. Uh, I think the model itself is quite nice. Still not entirely sold on the on the design of the suit, but I mean that's that could just be that it needs some paint. Um, so overall, yeah, that, that is Agent Black Widow. Uh, it's also important to mention that uh, with the way the game works is that you can't have the same character or the same, at least the same uh, uh, alter ego uh, on, the, on the table at the same time for your force. So you can't have both uh, Agent Black Widow as well as Black Widow from the core set. Just can't do it. Uh, as of right now, this is the only instance of it. Who knows if we'll see some more. We probably will. So next up, we have Hawkeye. And Hawkeye, is you know, he was just easy to put together. There was nothing wrong with him. He's got the one little pouch uh, right there that just slotted in really easily. Everything else just fit into the slots like a dream. There's no issues. Very few gaps in the model itself, which is really nice. Um, and just in general, it's re uh, really quite good. Um, you know, it's kind of a shame that there's not a bowstring uh, for, uh, for his bow, but at the same time, that would be a nightmare from a design perspective, at least, you know, something that would break so easily. And, uh, you know, his pose itself, it's kind of nice. You know, it's just him bracing up on that, on that tactical rock. Not the best pose in the game, not the worst pose. Um, 
but just in general, it's, it's a solid model. It's, it's got some fluid motion to it. Uh, so I really don't have a whole lot to say about, uh, about him. So anyway, those are the, uh, the two agents of shield for uh, Marvel crisis protocol. As always, if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Uh, we are looking at getting some more content on the channel for this sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, always leave some comments below if there's stuff that you want to see. Uh, and until I see you guys again, happy wargaming.